More than three months later, Live Oak Street looks much the same. Shut down, barricaded, and for businesses nearby, feeling pretty isolated too. We're really looking forward to returning to a normal time and having the streets all open again. Tammy Richards is the CEO for the nonprofit Volunteer Now. Its retail store sits just across the street from the Elon City Lights building, where more than 500 people lost their home when a crane collapsed during a thunderstorm in June. But not everything was lost. Some tenants were able to retrieve their belongings last month, and Richard says about 50 of them decided to give their furniture to Volunteer Now. It's a way to take what was a hard situation and make it a positive situation for people. Its Donated Goods Discount Depot store is a place for nonprofit employees, teachers, and first responders to shop for a variety of home items. Every day it changes here in terms of what you're going to find. Slowly that change is coming outside too. Pieces of the crane once strewn across the roof are gone, and looking at it today, the work to remove the base of the collapsed crane is likely next. Even when it's gone, Richards doesn't want people to forget the generosity from others who lost so much themselves. I think it really talks about the heart of Dallas and the community and how we all come together. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.